Hello and welcome to my news video. Today I'm going to take a quick first look at ETH Town. Now ETH Town is quite unique as there's not really a lot of sim there are not really a lot of similarities to other crypto games out yet. Uh, it basically wants to be a, um, a digital asset collectible crypto game with uh, property to some degree. So we will have the ability to own floors of a set tower or of a building. Let me just quickly go through the medium page to show you how it will look like. I think you can see it on Hackanoon. These different buildings, you see it here. Um, so you have this one building or maybe multiple buildings and we have the, you will have the chance to own one of these floors and just set them up the way you want um, and just own digital property and hopefully rise in ranks and make um, your way up to uh, more value, valuable assets basically. Um, as you can already tell I don't really know much about the game and the main reason for that is that the game is not really out yet. There is not too much information on the website other than this one screenshot. You can opt in to their newsletter basically which will const uh, not constantly but continually give you more information. They don't really spam you or your email um, so you can just do that um, in my opinion. Um, other than that, most of the information is presented on uh, the different media outlets, for example, on their main medium uh, article page uh, where they present all this different information about this game. Now, um, for the most part, the gameplay will be about holding these assets and also collecting heroes. As you can see here, they have a nice uh, nice graphic. I think the, the game really stands out uh, in terms of the graphic style and they have this nice um, depiction of Chuck Norris here. So you have these different star heroes, they will be valuable assets and they will also be uh, able to in some kind of way interact with uh, your floor. So you, the more star heroes you have, the more star heroes you collect and also the better floors you have, uh, the higher the value and hopefully they will net you a really nice return on investment as well. Um, other than that, as you can see here, you can customize your different heroes or your different um, players basically. I don't know it's going to work exactly if this is already an, a hero, considered a hero or this is just the, 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 the guy you're going to control in your on your floor. Um, as I said before you will have heroes and you will have the ability, maybe quite similar to The Sims where you can kind of uh, control these different um, characters and they can maybe fall in love with each other and they can in interact with the floors and live on the floor. So it, maybe it will work quite similar to The Sims as I said before. Um, other than that I have to say that uh, considering that the game is not really out yet I think the the team has done a really nice job of making this game look or the, at least information they, pre information they are presenting to make it look quite professional. Um, they have already presented their team uh, which most of the other crypto games do not really do. Um, they have also talked about investor tokens. You will have the, the chance to own these investor token, tokens once the game has been released, which basically works quite similar to an ICO where you, you invest early and get either a really high amount of these tokens for a lower price or you just generally get uh, tokens that are more valuable than, than the tokens that will be released later. Um, yeah, Other than that, I think it's a good idea if you just look through the game yourself or at least information that's been presented so far you can do a quick Google search but I'm also going to post a link to the website itself uh, in the description of this video and also in the comments so you can check it out yourself. You can also opt into the email newsletter and get some nice information, uh, the more information that is uh, released in the future. You can check out the Medium articles from the developer uh, themselves. Um, other than that, Hacker Noon is also a nice uh, way to get more information on this game. I'm going to post most of these uh, links to the different websites in the description and also the comments. And other than that, uh, please do, as I always say, please do your own research on this game, especially now when the game hasn't been released yet. And uh, please only invest as much in Ethereum as, you're, well, as you can afford to lose, basically. Uh, for all we know, um, the game might not really come out in the way that's being presented <coughs> so far. I'm sorry. Um, maybe uh, it will not really. Well, it might disappoint to some degree, and then you have, would have already invested into the game. So, as always, please do your own due diligence and just weigh out if it's worth your investment. Um, on the other hand, the, the main advantage, obviously, is that if you invest really early, you will have 
a much nicer return investment if you, uh, as opposed to when you invest much later down the line. But other than that, please check it out. There's a lot of information about the game out yet, just not on the front or on the, on the official website itself. Um, hope you liked the video. Leave a comment and tell me what you think about this game. Do you think it has a unique graphic style, a unique gameplay style, at least from the information we can get so far? Um, do you think there are some risks involved uh, uh, when you think about investing into a game so early down the line when there is not really any game out yet? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite interested in hearing your opinion and starting a discussion about this because I think that a lot of games in the crypto gaming industry, if you want to call it that already, they have this, this issue that a lot of these games, they don't really have a lot of going for them so far but people already invest in them and they might be left disappointed because there can only be so many games being played by a larger market but i think in terms of this game they do the the, the, the develop the, the i'm sorry the game development team they do a quite nice job of um, presenting the information at hand professionally um, they are quite transparent in terms of their their teams and who's working on the game uh, and other than that yeah Check it out yourself, get the information from the different pages, from the different uh, links I'm going to post uh, and do your own uh, research on this game. Hope you liked the video. See you next time. Bye.